Wow, we got another peasant cigar review. Look at that. Look at that. Wrapped up in toilet paper. So when you're done, you have to shit. Well, you know, it is what it is. You got, you got, you got a sheet. Sometimes you only need one sheet, bro. Chip in a chair, right, peasants? Full pack. Uh, not heavy for its size, but really dense, hard full pack. I did leave it out. Uh, it's been, oh, it's still in paper, but still. It was dry shelved uh, since yesterday. So it's had, it's had uh, 24, a little over 24 hours, give or take. So uh, I'm going to take off this paper. If you don't, all right, the paper's not smokable. I mean, it is it is smokable, but not recommended. It will light on fire. That's not a nipple tip. You got that? Although you might have some like that between your cheeks. Now, if you don't wipe properly, you're usually cheap uh, toilet paper. So let's uh, get it going. And you'll see the wrapper once I let it up. Connecticut World Leaf, allegedly Honduran Rest. So it's a Connecticut Pure Old Binder Filler, but with, uh, my bad, it's a Habano Pure Old as far as the binder and filler, but as far as the wrapper is Connecticut. So obviously it's not a true Pure Old. But two thirds, it's two thirds Honduran filler and binder. A good amount of the cigar. What is it gonna taste like? How well does uh, Connecticut Broly mix with everything else Honduran? Uh, what's the strength gonna be like? What's, what's the message of the profile? How long and heavy the finish is? It is what it is, nobody gives a shit, right? Um, Six dollars at a store, right? Nice band, I mean, it, it look, it, it's a very, low price for a mid-tier cigar. All right, Connecticut Broly Wrapper is not, not cheap. So the question is, um, is this gonna be a great budget price cigar that is actually a good quality mid-tier cigar that punches above its weight? We're gonna find out. Well, well, well. Um, wrapper, very rough, toothy, textured, sandpaper, grid-like. Uh, oily splotches. It's not, it's not a, a pretty looking wrapper. Now, if you want, um, a lot of times you with some spots, if you want, um, well, I guess if you want good quality broadleaf wrapper at a low price cigar, you're not gonna get a flawless looking. Does that make any sense? But as far as the actual cigar, it's fucking great. Um, maybe it's better to have a uglier, uh, maybe an uglier, thicker wrapper. Uh, it's, not, it's not gonna win any, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's not going to win any beauty uh, pageants, but man, she puts out. This is a Robusto. It's a thick Robusto. Um, draw is good. Flavor on puffing is medium plus. It has a sweet um, raisin rum, uh, nice milk chocolate. I mean, a really complex, sweet, beautiful notes, with some black, black, pepper, uh, black, pepper, black pepper spice, and uh, it's got a pretty long finish and pretty heavy. Good smoke out, but there is just a little bit of floral note. It doesn't taste like a really, like, young cigar where it feels like they didn't ferment it at all, but it is slightly edgy, so I'm not going to lie about that. But for six dollars a lounge, and probably four dollars online to get a solid Connecticut Broadleaf big cigar. I mean, dude, you could do a lot worse. This is a, just as a cigar; it is a good blend. This is a great cigar. My recommendation on this: if you buy a box uh, for cheap price, because there's good quality tobacco in here, um, maybe let them sit for six months or a year, take a little bit of that edginess off, and then you got yourself a real monster of a cigar for for nothing. They're, they're giving the cigar away. Um, this is much better than the price point. Well, wow. Peasant cigar with perfect construction, ashy white, a chalky white ash. Um, it's a very chalky white ash. We're gonna drop that though. Cigar is tasting great. Nice milk chocolate sweetness. Uh, like a sweet rum, raisin kind of a note. Uh, you could say also say fig. I got nothing bad to say about that. Just slightly dirty, slightly edgy, uh, but you would, you would expect that for you know this at this price point, for, you know for a, a Connecticut broadleaf. The Honduran factor though, you don't get too many cigars Honduran binder and filler, and then uh, with Connecticut broadleaf, it adds it adds a little more, I guess, 
mystique with the Connecticut Pearl Leaf. Um, most time it's Nicaraguan, or, you know, etc. So um, it's good. Uh, it had some savory notes. It had actually a little bit of sourdough puckering. So um, I have nothing bad to say about this blend. Definitely a good amount of black pepper spice too, slightly earthy. All in all, the cigar's a winner. All in all, the cigar, <clears throat> with or without the price point, it's a 4.4. The price point doesn't make a cigar better or worse. The cigar is always a cigar. Now, the price point of a cigar, though, can make the cigar more regretful or less regretful or more available or less available, depending on your situation. Whatever it is, the tobacco's tobacco. Money, once the cigar is made, paying more or paying less, it doesn't change the cigar. However, it could change your interpretation or if you would do it again. Does that make any sense? Like if you go to a restaurant and it's good, it's good. You're like, wow, that was good food. And then you get the bill and it's like $800. You're like, yeah, that was good food, but it's not fucking $800. You got gouged. So my point is this, uh, zero gouge on this at a lounge and um, maybe aging these would be a good idea. Six months or a year, I think you'd have a nice, uh, nice cigar there. Uh, low how to say the wrapper quality i mean it's a good wrapper but it, 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 it's uh how was the word it's not a flawless wrapper which i don't give a shit it, uh, you know to get the, a good connecticut broadleaf at this price point um i'd rather have a great tobacco that that's a low clarity uh, or low that's not flawless than like a piece of shit wrapper that looks really nice but like uh you know it didn't go through proper fermentation and everything else so uh the last section i care about with a cigar is the flawlessness look of the wrapper. You know what I'm saying though? Um, the type of tobacco used, <laughs> the construction and the fermentation and the blending, everything, these are more important. Now, of course, though, if you're paying a lot of money for a cigar, I'll be damned if it doesn't look perfect because then what are you doing here, baby? Like if you take a cigar to a nice restaurant and you're not fresh, well, baby, it ain't gonna happen.